Lisa Niemi Swayze, widow of actor Patrick Swayze, has shared her personal experiences and offered advice on remarrying after the loss of a spouse. Join us as Factsverse presents He Died 15 Years Ago. Now Lisa Niemi confirms he was the love of her life. Patrick Swayze's death devastated his wife. Lisa Niemi Swayze, the widow of legendary actor Patrick Swayze, has recently opened up about her personal experiences and offered heartfelt advice on remarrying after the loss of a loved one. Patrick and Lisa's love story was one that captivated the world. They met as teenagers and shared a deep connection that lasted more than four decades. However, in 2009, Patrick tragically passed away after a battle with pancreatic cancer leaving Lisa devastated and facing the daunting prospect of starting over. Like many who have experienced profound loss, Lisa embarked on a grief journey that was both challenging and transformative. She openly acknowledges the immense pain and heartache that accompanies such a loss, emphasizing the importance of allowing oneself to grieve fully. By giving herself permission to mourn, Lisa began to gradually heal and accept the reality of her new life. Throughout her grieving process, Lisa discovered an inner strength that helped her navigate the darkest moments. She emphasizes that everyone's journey is unique and personal, and there's no set timeline for finding love again after a loss. It's important to allow oneself the freedom to experience love and joy when the time feels right. When Patrick Swayze, the beloved actor known for his iconic roles in movies like Dirty Dancing and Ghost, first started experiencing the effects of cancer, it undoubtedly had a profound impact on his wife. In a recent interview, Lisa Niemi Swayze spoke about how she continues to carry on his memory even 14 years after his death. She reflected on their enduring connection, stating that Patrick's voice remains in her head. She mentioned that she often hears his comments and words of encouragement, especially during challenging times. Lisa shared that their relationship did not end with his passing as they had spent 34 years together. Patrick's presence continues to be a significant part of her life and identity. Despite this fact, Lisa is now ready to move on. Lisa continues to fight her late husband's fight. Lisa and Patrick first met when she was just 14. They were both aspiring dancers. They eventually got married in June of 1975, when Lisa was 19 and Patrick was 23. After his death, Lisa has continued to fight against pancreatic cancer by working with the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. She expressed her dedication to this cause, stating that she still cares deeply about raising awareness and finding a cure. Lisa believes that while cancer may have taken Patrick's life, it did not defeat him, and she continues to fight on his behalf. When discussing the early signs of Patrick's illness, Lisa recounted how he had approached her and asked if his eyes looked yellow. She also mentioned digestive problems and persistent pain as symptoms. Concerned about the yellowing eyes, Lisa insisted they see a doctor immediately, despite the initial plan to wait a week. After a visit to the doctor, they were sent for a CT scan, which revealed the severity of the situation. Lisa described the subsequent 24 hours of waiting for the test results as grueling, as their lives took an unexpected turn. Although they both understood the gravity of Patrick's prognosis, Lisa emphasized that they fought against it for as long as his body allowed. She acknowledged that their journey was tough, but worth it because every moment spent together was precious. Lisa's advice for other caregivers is to find ways to take breaks and care for themselves. She mentioned how she would go shopping for a couple of hours while someone watched over Patrick, allowing her some much-needed respite. Lisa also stressed the importance of having a support network, especially for caregivers going through similar situations. She spoke about the potential anger and existential angst that can arise, both for the patient and the caregiver. Sharing experiences and holding hands through the challenges can provide solace and strength during difficult times. During the interview, Lisa also discussed her experience of finding love again after Patrick's death. In 2013, she got engaged to jeweler Albert de Prisco and married him in 2014. She expressed that her love for Albert did not diminish her love for Patrick. It was a separate and distinct connection. Lisa believes love doesn't vanish when someone passes away. It continues to exist. Lisa concluded the interview by advising other widows and widowers to be open to the possibility of finding new love when they're ready. She mentioned that many people often resist moving on, holding on to their old lives and belongings. 
Lisa emphasized the importance of timing and readiness, encouraging people to embark on new relationships only when they feel prepared. About Patrick Swayze's life Patrick was born August 18, 1952, in Houston. He rose to fame in the 80s and 90s with his charismatic on-screen presence, versatile talent, and undeniable charm. Swayze's career spanned over three decades, during which he became a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Swayze's passion for the performing arts began at a young age. Growing up in a creative household, his mother was a choreographer and dance instructor, while his father was an engineering draftsman. At age 20, he moved to New York City to pursue a career as a dancer and actor. He studied ballet, jazz, and tap, honing his skills and becoming a versatile performer. Swayze's breakthrough came in 1983 when he starred as the dance instructor Johnny Castle in the iconic film Dirty Dancing. The movie's immense success catapulted him into the limelight, showcasing his exceptional dance abilities and establishing him as a heartthrob. His natural talent, combined with his rugged good looks and undeniable charisma, made him a favorite among audiences worldwide. Following the success of Dirty Dancing, Swayze continued to captivate audiences with his performances in various films. In 1990, he starred alongside Demi Moore in the romantic fantasy thriller Ghost, which became one of his most memorable roles. The film's poignant storyline, coupled with Swayze's heartfelt portrayal of the character Sam Wheat, earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Swayze showcased his versatility by taking on a wide range of roles. He starred in action-packed films like Point Break, where he played an undercover FBI agent, and Roadhouse, where he portrayed a tough bouncer. His ability to seamlessly transition between genres demonstrated his versatility and talent. He was also a talented singer-songwriter. He released several albums, including Patrick Swayze and One Last Dance. He was also known for his kindness, generosity, and down-to-earth personality. His love for his family, including wife Lisa, to whom he was married for 34 years, and dedication to his craft, left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who knew him. Patrick's legacy lives on through his work, his influence on future generations of actors and performance, and the enduring love and admiration of his fans. His personal life was marked by a deep love and strong commitment to family, and the couple had one of the longest-lasting relationships in Hollywood. They often collaborated on various projects. Throughout their marriage, Swayze and Niemi faced their fair share of challenges, they struggled with infertility, and suffered a series of miscarriages. But despite these hardships, their love and commitment to each other remained unwavering. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Patrick Swayze? And what are your thoughts about Lisa being able to move on while still honoring Patrick's memory? Let us know in the comments section below.